Welcome to the old horseshoe on the banks of the Olentangy, home of the Ohio State Buckeyes and one of the great settings in all of college football. Boy, the scarlet and gray already rocking this house. Today, we have one of those games that test your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the back, the Western Michigan Broncos taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. They'll run behind the big guys on the right. Just will this way for a couple out to 35. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Back to pass, it's Howard. Working that left side now. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. That's a really nice throw. When you think about being the starting quarterback at the Ohio State University, with all the great players they've had here recently, what this offense expects from you, this is explosive passing attack. You've seen that now in recent years. They push the ball vertically down the field. This guy has the skill set. That's why he's out there on the field right now. He allows this offense to really go, and he's playing at a high level. He didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Scott. They make the tackle at the 36, but they're in plus territory now with the 15-yard pickup. The Buckeyes are moving quickly down the field. Wide receiver shows motion. Out of the gun, the inside kick. Makes the tackle at the 31. It's a pickup of five on the play. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. He wants to pass it on second down. Fires to the big fell. Tackle, but he has a first down. Well, they'll pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. To the air, it's Howard. Quickly out to the tight end. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground, right up the gut, looking for six. And Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this. Let's see what they've got on second down. And that will be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. As they unpack the pile, it's part of Ohio State's DNA to have a lethal running game. 
And this is a trend, Reese. We can go back as long as you want to go back, and we can go back a couple years to J.K. Dobbins, and we can go all the way back to Eddie George. They always find great running backs in Ohio State. And guys, if I'm on offense, I am staying aggressive. I know you didn't connect there, but make sure you keep testing this defense because even if you complete one of those throws, that could be the game-breaking play. Powers through. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. The time-honored phrase for a quarterback is field general. This dude in this environment, he, he's like a stadium commander. He's like a, an elevated rank above field general. He's like an orchestrator. He knows how to how to set them off and then bring it up and bring the excitement with the big plays and, and make it look easy time and time again. And that's why this offense is so impressive. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Give to the running back. They work that running game down to the 34. Let's give him three on the carry. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. The Buckeyes will snap it on first and 10. Just when they're looking one, now up top. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. And now on second down for this offense. The give on the inside. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with his pass. And the Buckeyes have pushed it inside the 20. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first down. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll run it from the gun. Running back searching for a hole. Find some room, and that's what you want to get away from the goal line. A five-yard pickup out to the six. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. To the air, it's Howard. Finds the tight end. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. When you run it up the middle, you've got so many big boys on the inside. When you run this toss out wide, it's nice because you get away from all the beef. You get to get on the perimeter, make some of those little guys make some tackles out wide. The running back really appreciates when you give him some tosses. Just tried to ease it out there, and it falls incomplete. Well, they're leading by two possessions offensively, and that could have been a game-changing play right there. That's a throw the quarterback would like to have back. He's very lucky that was not intercepted. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Man, you know, you always look back at games at single plays that turn the tide. With this defense now trailing by two possessions, if they could have just caught the ball, and gotten that pick, that potentially changes everything in this game. That was a missed opportunity. 
it's yeah. so nice when you know it's third and long, you no, know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by the On the move. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play on first down from their own 22. Quick pass on the fly motion. And there were no creases or crevices to run through and they shove him out of bounds. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. On the move, it's Howard. Throws to the back. Into double coverage, and he picked it off. Bringing it back. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Western Michigan. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Got rid of it quickly, but it's incomplete. And Reese, listen, we already know. He already threw the interception in the last drive. we got to get this together. This is a couple bad plays that we put together now. If I'm an OC, I'm going to make this simple. Maybe I run the football. Maybe I give him a screen. Something easy maybe to get him a little bit back in the rhythm. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south. Get a first down. Get a new set of downs. Fast motion from the offense. Going up top on first down. Catch in the middle. It's Tate. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. The Buckeye aerial attack continues to be prolific. You feel as if they're on the verge of scoring on any snap. And it's such a good blend between such great offensive talent year after year after year that you see go to the draft, but also great play calling, great play design. They, they've always got it working, and you know this offense is always capable of hanging 40 points and making it look easy. This is going to be a key that we look at this entire game. How can this defense find ways to affect this quarterback and get pressure on him? Because they felt coming into the game, if they could do that, they could affect him and influence this passing game. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30, it would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. Dropping back, it's Howard. Pressure coming. Grabs it in the middle. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. They were counting on making a few yards after the catch on third down. Instead, they're staring at fourth. Yeah, and I think a lot of times you trust your guy. You, you throw it to him and you say, I can make somebody miss or lower my shoulder and get to the sticks. The defense had none of that. Nice job tackling. Nice job forcing the fourth down. The Buckeyes get enough to move the chain. No hesitation on that call, and no reason not to go for it on fourth and inches. We're bigger than you, we're tougher than you, we're stronger than you, and we're going to get a push, and they did it right there. Right back to the well. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. Motion from the offense. He's looking to throw. Got it! And he's into the end zone! Touchdown, Ohio State! That touchdown gives his team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. He wants to throw. Shoots it to the left. 
How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? You see these windows, they're getting smaller and smaller to throw into. Really nice job by the defense that time, getting a hand in there and knocking that ball away. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Got it in the middle with Smith. And he was off to the races. Finally tripped up at the 36. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third and short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. Offense gets set for second down. To throw, it's Howard. Quick strike complete. Makes the tackle at the 23 yard line. Give him 10 yards and enough for the first down. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator's calling good plays. The quarterback and his unit is executing. And this defense right now, they have no answers. The Buckeyes will line it up on first and ten. Looking for a crease, it's Henderson. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. When running backs square their shoulders up, it's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. They believe they can run right here. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And the Buckeyes will keep this drive going. Turn inches, everybody knows what's coming, but it's so dang hard to stop it. You better get penetration with that defensive line. They didn't do a good enough job. Running back falls forward and does his job. Give to the back. And he'll pick up. Second and nine. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll run it to the right side. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you've got that 300-plus pound guy. On the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. So they are denied a touchdown on this drive, but they'll try to put out the three spot before the break. Splits the uprights. Good. And now the lead is extended a little far. Takes this handoff and headed to the right. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk out to the 30-yard line. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game running the football. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Now on third down for this offense.
On the run, it's Henderson. So important to convert these third downs, and they get it done. They'll have it at the 42. First and 10. And it's really nice to have a workhorse running back that you know you can feed and get productive gain after gain. Now over 100 yards. You've already got some separation on the scoreboard. I would continue to feed this workhorse. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short gain. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They'll run play action. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Well, it was a good throw. It was a good route. But it was the hit that forced that incompletion. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the... They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to throw. It's Howard. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And as I saw that screen start to develop, I thought big play coming. I just didn't realize it would be for the defense. Yeah, they got in there quick, and, and the quarterback's supposed to see that, right? He's supposed to let him come upfield, buy a... Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Racing to the right. Touchdown, Buckeyes! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. When these offenses get in the rhythm, they're... On the run, it's Judkins. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They go right back to it. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? They'll try to move the chains on the ground. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. And that's so tough as a defense because they only got to get inches. But I got to find a way to somehow get a knockback, stop the running back's feet right there. I couldn't do it. He gets downhill just enough, and he gets the first down. It's a good job, too, there on third down by the offense because a major statistic in football in terms of winning and losing is how good are you at staying on the field, keeping drives a lot. Whether it's third and long or third and inch it, you just have to go execute when they do it. Ball still at the 45 after the incompletion. They'll snap it second and 10. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And he's brought down after a nice game. The Buckeyes are moving quickly down the field. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're on offense. You have the lead. You want to chew the clock, keep the ball on the ground, keep that thing just ticking, Palmer. They're just imposing the drill, Dave, and that's something that we've seen, I think, all game. Up front, they've been the more physical team. They're the ones that's getting pushed and that's getting movement, and it's carrying over all the way here deep into the fourth quarter. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Muscling ahead on third and short. The Buckeyes pick up the first down. Everything going to the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead. So you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful... A shot toward the end zone. Oh, what a grab by the defense. 
Well, the defense isn't quitting. They're obviously down big here in the fourth quarter. Looking to move it through the air. He lets one fly deep. And they won't make the connection. Looking to make a big play there. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete, but obviously they're still seeing matchups that they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. Third down after the run. On the run, it's Howard. Fires to the middle. What a job to lay out and make the catch. Well, this offense has just been dialing up explosive play after explosive play. That's a big part of why they have a huge lead at this point. Even in the fourth quarter with that lead, they are still taking shots. They are still being aggressive. Pedal to the metal. Using his legs, it's Judkins. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Aaron is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. And now on third down after that last run. They'll stick to the ground, looking for the marker. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. And he's done everything for this offense today, running the football so much so that he's now got 98 yards rushing. We're in the fourth quarter. One more carry, and this guy could eclipse the 100-yard mark. Trying to find his man on first down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Henderson. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And here comes the offense on second down. They're gonna run it. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play and we'll take a break to check him out. And the Buckeyes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Lasso! Lasso! From the red zone, he's going to throw it. It's complete. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. A little bit surprising, not going to lie. You've got a big lead like this late in the game. You're still throwing for it and being aggressive. But, hey, man, it's working. And if it's working, keep calling him, I guess. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. To give as they work on that clock. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Wide out in motion. Takes the handoff. It's Henderson. Got the first down and more. And he will finally go out of bounds after another big gain, and they are absolutely gashing them with this running game. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load. and He has delivered for his offense all game long. The Buckeyes are threatening in the red zone. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. 
Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. The give to the tailback. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Absolute shame. Missed it. The give to the back. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. When you know you have a team outclassed, the ability to play to that standard and finish with a blowout like this is really impressive. And it's almost like playing against yourself, right? You know you're better. You know you're going to win the football game. But how do I continue to still execute? This, this was so easy. Great execution. Uh, just beat down in every facet. I think as a player, you just love being in such great rhythm. And we saw that right from the get-go in this game. Offense just able to matriculate the ball down the field. Defense was not giving anything up. What a great game plan coming in. And this was just total domination. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
Welcome to Columbus, Ohio, and the venerable horseshoe, home of the Ohio State Buckeyes, a place that's home to such legendary names as Archie, Woody, Zeke, and Stroud. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Marshall Thundering Herd taking on the third-ranked team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Few places are richer in tradition, more steeped in nostalgia than this old horseshoe on the banks of the Olentangy, the home of the Ohio State Buckeyes in the scarlet and gray have this place rocking already. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off a of bye week, the Marshall Thundering Herd taking on the third-ranked team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Wide receiver shows motion. On the ground, it's Henderson. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. I mean, you can have that kind of success on first down running the football. It just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Caught near the sideline, it's Smith. And not much doing there. That defense runs him out of bounds. Opening drive of the game, and they're facing third and one. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Yeah, and you don't see very many quarterback hits on screens. You know, the offense wants to bluff real quick and make it look like pass and the quarterback's foot. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. Catch in the middle, it's Scott. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. This offense has moved into plus territory, and they want to keep the heat on. They'll go for it on fourth down. They'll try it on the ground. The Buckeyes are stopped, but not before getting the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Free snap motion in the backfield. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. After the filthy move, he's got room. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. He's 
touch passes, it's so hard because there's always action off that, right? If I fake this pass and I can run it up the gut or I can throw it and just spread me out and make me defend so many things. And you can tell they got on the edge quickly, got the big first down. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Lost yardage leaves them looking at second and 14. To the air, it's Howard. Into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Buckeyes. You love as a head coach to watch your offense take the field and establish a rhythm and consistency. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. You're going to stop the run game. You better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. They'd love to make this short field payoff with a touchdown instead of settling for three, but it is third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. And he can't find his man as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. And this will be a short one from about 21 yards out. And it's right down the boulevard. And now the lead is even bigger. The give out of the gun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down. Looking to throw a tower. He's got it down the middle. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, you know what happens? That DB starts to bail, and that wide receiver comes back, and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. And the Buckeyes have it for the first and ten. He's going to pass. Incomplete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic, and fortunate to get it back. After the misfire, now on second down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. What a good one there. He has enough for the first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Tate. He stopped just short of the goal line, but they'll have it first and goal from the one. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. I'll try to power it in. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State! These guys are really hitting their stride in week four as they push out that lead. You know, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his...
using his legs, it's Judkins. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Back to pass, it's Howard. Makes the grab down the middle. Now listen, I'm going to move this guy every. He's in the slot this time, but I'm not going to let the defense understand where he's lining up so they can double team him. Put him in the slot, put him out wide. Either way, find this guy early and often. Out across the 30 to the 39 after getting 10 on that one. And a great job by the offensive line. You're going to run the ball right at the middle. You better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. Okay, From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Might as well give it to him again. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Wide receiver coming across in motion. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. The Buckeyes are on the move. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Quick touch pass to the receiver. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Dropping back, it's Howard. Released to the back. It's in. Complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. The Buckeyes will hustle to the line. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. And the Buckeyes line up to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. He will signal for the fair catch. Here's the handoff. Good pickup on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Solid pickup of four on first down and second and six. He's looking to throw. That's caught. It's Henderson. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. A new set of downs after the completion. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. Incomplete. Man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. 
And off from the shotgun. And they tried it again and got the same result. They'll get nothing in like it. Now they're looking at a third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Snagged in the middle. It's a Buka. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. The Buckeyes have it with a first and 10. To the ground with the back. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. The Buckeyes have taken it inside the 20. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. With the catch, it's Henderson. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Power football with the run. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. And I don't care if I get by two, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Grabbed behind the line, it's Judkins. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Looking for a man. It's Howard. Touchdown, Ohio State! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. The defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They've got to shore up their play in the back half. Takes a handoff. It's Judkins. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. Well, they get another big run for a first down, and if you're on offense, you love the way your offensive line is blocking early in this game. They're getting tremendous movement, and they're making life pretty easy for these running backs right now. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. He wants to throw. It's caught. He's running free down the middle. He's at the 10. Touchdown. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Dragged down after a pickup of five out to the 35. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Quickly complete. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. The give from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Nice job by this defense. Listen, you got to understand, they're going to run the football. They're going to try to milk the clock, Jesse. They got the huge lead. 
Haven't been a lot of good plays for this defense in this game so far. So can they build on that one? Can they create some turnovers here in the second half to get back in this game? And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the right. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Now they'll run it to the right here. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. And the Buckeyes look to do some damage in the red zone. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. He'll get that one all the way down to the four-yard line before he stops. And this offense has got it all on right? It's just been tough. This, this defense is on teals, can't figure it out. A bunch of plays in a row now, a bunch of success. This offense is doing what they want to do, how they want to do it. Defense is going to need to do something different to try to move. Touchdown, Ohio State! And the pummeling has started. Lost to throw on first down off the play fake. Makes a connection. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. Big play to start this drive. Now they'll snap it from the 39. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Trying play action. Going for the big play. And how about that DB getting a hand in there and forcing the incomplete pass? If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he's going to have to throw into traffic it's picked off couldn't find a ton of room on that return to that small change they take over at the 43 who says defensive backs don't have hands nice job breaking on the football and making the catch a lot of times you see guys from the gun running back on the move at the 40, there he goes. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. They came out hot on this drive. One play and already near midfield. Dropping back, it's Howard. Fires to the middle. And this senior quarterback a little too bold there, and he's lucky he didn't get picked off throwing into double coverage. Wonder if he'll throw it again after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 49. A six-yard pickup that leaves him with third and four. Trying to pick up a first down. Get set, get set. They'll go to the air. And the pass falls incomplete, and we have played three quarters. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. This has been a complete obliteration so far, as the third quarter stats will show you. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. Grabbed over the middle. It's Tate. Fast motion from the offense. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short drive. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll try the run. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down?
They'll try to get it through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. The Buckeyes come to the line with a new set of downs. Going to run it. It's Henderson. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Looking for a man. It's Howard. Gets it out fast. No chance to run, but still a solid pickup on that one. Ball's at the 22. Third and short coming. Can the defense force him to settle for a field goal? They'll try to run for it. The Buckeyes pick up the first down. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front, great job by the back, knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a right back. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Caught near the sticks. It's Henderson. Touchdown, Buckeyes! And the beat. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. They'll leave it with him. Tackle is made after the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. And the Buckeyes look to keep this drive humming. Hand off to the lone back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. They go to the ground. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here. Today. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. And the defense down in this game, they just can't do anything to stop this offense at this point, David. Right now, they know they're going to be trying to run the football and try and ice the game, but there's nothing at this point it seems they can do. Yeah, and it's frustrating. I got to sell out, man. I got to bring as many guys to the line of scrimmage as I can. I got to find a way to get this ball back to my offense. The, the clock is not my friend, and them running the football is only going to run this thing out quicker. I got to find a way to make something happen, strip the football, do something. Grabbed on the outside, it's Scott. Tackle after picking up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. I don't know if they're trying to get this guy Heisman consideration, but the fact that they're still throwing the ball at this point of the game with a lead like they have is surprising. I gotta be honest. Yeah, and that's a great job by this offense. And I'll tell you what, fourth quarter, you have the lead. That's exactly what you want to do. Lean on these guys. Run the football, eat that clock. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. 
Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. Let's see what they dial up on this fourth down. Remember, they're one for two so far in this one. Try to get it on the ground. Touchdown, Ohio State! And the stomping has commenced. Quarterback checking the play. 42 Spider. 42 Spider. Trying to turn the corner on the right. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. They'll run it from the gun. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. This is what you're looking for when you have the better team. Go out and show it. Don't fool around with them. Go out and play to a standard of excellence. Just dominate. You know you're going to take care of business. You know you're going to win. It's, almost, it's like how many? How many can I win by? And I like that you keep your foot on the gas and just continue to pile it on. It's their job to stop you. Let them do their job. You just keep pulling it on. It's not about the X's and the O's. It's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. This is why recruiting is so important in college football. They just had better players. More physical. They were faster, and it showed today. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.